Hi, welcome to another Monday Tip with Ngozi. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And um, today we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is a condition where a person has the competence and experience to pursue a certain course, but they are not confident enough to do so because they think they can't even when others may perceive that they can. Now in the past, people erroneously thought that this condition is only found in women. But the evidence today points that both men and women suffer from imposter syndrome. Now if that describes you, if this describes you, do not beat yourself about it because we all suffer from imposter syndrome for every, every now and again. Even high achieving, highly successful people still doubt their abilities and their capabilities in following through on something that everyone else knows that they can do. Now, what sets people apart though is dealing with this condition and going ahead to do what you need to do in spite of it. My number one tip for doing so is to love what you do and love the people you serve. Now, something this basic, you might wonder, how can loving the people you serve help you to conquer imposter syndrome? Now, let me give you an, an, an example. Assuming you are going, walking on the street and you find someone in need of urgent medical attention. You are not a medical person. You don't have the experience. You don't have the, the expertise. You, you've never done anything like this before. Would you walk away? Now, most of us would not walk away when we see that someone else is in need of urgent medical attention, especially when you know that you are the only one around that could help that person. Now, even if you do not have the expertise, I don't expect you to start working on the person and please don't if you don't know what to do so that you don't create more problems but we all carry something like this in our pockets we can call for help now when you're calling for help is that the time you start wondering oh i don't look well i don't look good my hair is not good i don't even talk very well i don't i i'm too tall i'm too short i i, I, I don't want them to see me like this no, at that point in time, your focus is, I need to get help for this person. And once that is your focus, what you look like, how you talk, how short, how tall, how beautiful, ugly you are, is not even an issue. What is an issue at that point in time is to help. So move the focus from yourself to the person or people you are helping and you'll be conquering imposter syndrome. Now there are two other tips that I've used personally and I've found them helpful. And those tips are in the recent blog post on my website. Please check the link in the bio and go to the website to read about the other two things you can do to conquer imposter syndrome. I'll see you soon. Thanks.